today's gospel, we encounter this furthering of the conflict between Jesus and the Jews it uses. I had a professor in seminary who any time in the gospel of John, it says the Jews, he do air quotes because it doesn't mean all of the Jewish people. It means like the leaders, the Pharisees, those who resented Jesus for all that he stood for. But today the subject of the conflict is this statement. Whoever keeps my word will never see death. And they do not understand that Jesus is not talking about an earthly death. He's talking about spiritual death. If we keep his words, we will never see that eternal fire that no one wants to run into. And so we stay close to him. We stay close to God. We use as an example today Abraham, our father in faith. Today, if you've noticed, the first reading has been kind of like the greatest hits of salvation history. We've had the Exodus. We've had the Babylonian exile. And today we have God's covenant with Abram. A covenant so important that Abram gets a new name from God. That he will be a father of a host of nations. That kings will stem from him. That he will have descendants through all the ages. And Abraham accepted this covenant on faith because at this point, him and Sarai, who later became Sarah, had no children. How do you have descendants without children? That is what the faith of Abraham required him to accept from God. And then when he finally did have a child, we had that kind of horrifying choice that God asked Abraham to make bring Isaac up a mountain and kill him. Of course, that didn't happen. God stilled stilled his hand right at that last moment. But Abraham had faith, and we hold that up because that is the most essential part of keeping Jesus' word. So today in our prayer, let us ask for faith which is a gift that we need now more than ever, because we're separated in a very real way from the Lord right now, separated from his sacrament of the Eucharist. And so we need a little bit of extra faith right now. We're not totally separated. We have the word of God. We still have the sacrament of confession. but we have to look for new ways to stay close to him, to grow in that faith. And so let's make that our prayer today.